healthy. They liken it to drinking at a winery. Hey, there you go. And finally, the ugly middle, middle school students asked, who to save in the event of an apocalypse? The kids in Ohio told to choose eight out of 12 people based on race, age, and religion. One example is, quote, a racist armed police officer who has been accused of using excessive force. What? Look at that. The accountant's pregnant wife. You can see him there. An Asian orphan 12-year-old boy. I mean, what, what is would you this? Say? I, yeah, right. Uh, parent, uh, prompting the superintendent to have a talk with the teacher. I mean, this is ridiculous. How, who thinks that that's a good assignment for a middle Can school? Can you write in, like mom, dad, brother, brother-in-law, dog, Endlessly friends. confused, as I usually am after the good, bad, and the ugly. Have a good we'll day, everyone. <laughs> President Trump announces a new trade deal with Mexico, sending stocks surging. We're going to call it the United States-Mexico trade agreement. And we'll get rid of the name NAFTA. It has a bad connotation. Just another in a long line of campaign assurances and promises that have been kept. And another tropical storm zeroing in on Hawaii. This as people begin to assess the damage left from tropical storm lame. Demoted DOJ official Bruce Orr heading to the hot seat today. House lawmakers returning a week early to grill him behind closed doors. The lawmakers are going to be honing in on the communications between Bruce Orr and Christopher Steele, particularly after the FBI severed its ties officially with the author of the dossier. The beautiful moment a soldier reunites with his best friend. Well, it's the last Tuesday of the summer. More than a feeling, summer <laughs> is slipping away. Right. It never ends, though. We love summertime. It's my favorite know, time of the year, but, and I refuse to acknowledge it's ending until the end of September, actually. Really? Yes, Why not absolutely. end of October? Why not, right? Why not? Until the leaves start changing, I am not over summer. Katie Good Pavlich time. making her debut on Fox & Friends, but you've seen her all over the channel since the early 60s. You've been around. <laughs> yes. uh, Katie, you just did Very Kennedy last night. I did, said? yeah, it was fun. Kennedy, right. Guy Benson was in for Kennedy last night, so we had fun on the panel, and it's been good. So well, we, have you for, we have you for three hours. And by the way, on the weather side, I'm predicting September will be stifling hot. Uh, I hope so. Really? Around the world. Okay. There's enough cold winter months. We don't need the fall right. to be cold. Today. Stay tuned for that. Actually going to be a hot one here in New York City. And uh, I tell you what, it's going to be hot uh, down on Capitol Hill where the, Bruce Orr is going to get grilled. We're going to be talking about that later this morning. Uh, Brian's going to talk to Ron DeSantis, who's running for the governor job in the great state of Florida in a minute. But first, let's talk a little bit about this. Why did the stock market, the S&P and the NASDAQ hit new records? Well, I think it was kind of a little relief rally because the president of the United States, along with over on the speakerphone, kind of like Charlie's Angel. That was great. I love that. <laughs> it was. He was talking to the president of Mexico, and they have come to some sort of a new trade deal, which the president of this country regards as better than NAFTA. But because Mexico's in it, and Canada's not, it's really kind of just a half a NAFTA. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, the president, uh, I think, put a lot of pressure on Canada yesterday by having the Mexican president yeah. on the phone. And the idea that Mexico would come to the table without Canada, there may be some a long way to go here, but the idea that they would have the, the negotiation and talk about it. And again, President Trump is a man of his word. He's going to try and get things done that he says he's going to. Deadlines matter. They want to get this before President Nieto leaves office in December. So they were kind of pushing as quick as they can to work with Mexico to come up with two-thirds of the NAFTA deal. And here's a quick look at uh, what is in this deal. Uh, first off, when it comes to autos, when it comes to intellectual property, uh, they are tackling this. 75% of the auto parts to be produced in North America, mm. 40, 40 to 45% of auto parts made by workers, they're going to work uh, make at least $16 an hour. And when it comes to intellectual property, take notice, China, they are strengthening some of that, especially as it uh, applies to us as well as uh, bio, uh, they're also with right. uh, pharmaceuticals, they're also extending that, uh, the intellectual property with that. Right. Regarding the car uh, industry, I was reading this morning in the Wall Street Journal, it said that cars that are built in, for instance, Tennessee or Alabama or in the South, uh, those companies could actually suffer if they import more than 25% of the parts. Uh, the Wall Street Journal has taken a look at all the details. They don't really like it. Uh, they say, we're glad to see Mr. Trump step back from the suicide of NAFTA withdrawal, but on the public evidence so far, this new deal is worse. Nonetheless, 
the markets took off and we're going to have Larry Kudlow, the director of national economic uh, concerns with us live at 830 to talk a little bit about this. Yeah, so we'll see where it goes. Mm -hmm. All of that. You know, and, and it's one of those things where the president of the United States, Donald Trump, was able to get something done that others had said they were going to fix. For instance, remember when Barack Obama said he would fix NAFTA? Scrap NAFTA, Senator Obama, or fix it? Uh, I would immediately uh, call uh, the president of Mexico, the president of Canada, to try to amend NAFTA because I think that we can get labor agreements in that uh, agreement right now. And it should reflect the basic principle that our trade agreements should not just be good for Wall Street, it should also be good for Main Street. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, well, I wonder what happened to that guy who asked those questions. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but uh, that was uh, President uh, Obama. Uh, he never was able to accomplish it. As far as I know, he's able, not even able to tackle it. And many people thought, well, it's going to start, the, the success is going to start with Canada. We sidelined Canada, went right to Mexico, and both sides really seemed to, uh, to want to deal. And I just thought the, it's going to be very interesting because the Canadian uh, trade representative left Europe and flew immediately to Washington. Mm -hmm. They're meeting today. And last night, President Trump had a phone call with Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, and the readout from that from the White House was very cordial. Right. Uh, but we still don't have any details about how they're going to move forward with bringing Canada to the table. Well, and how do we move forward here in the United States? If they come to some sort of a deal, it's got to pass through Congress. There's not enough time to do this one. So does this new deal, would a Donald Trump-endorsed trade deal get through a Nancy Pelosi run house probably not but Steve the thing is this is for workers uh, AFL-CIO will now have a role somehow uh, expand their uh, their voter roles right. into Mexico so this is a pro worker deal you would see on its surface and it's pro farmer Sonny Purdue the Secretary of Agriculture is lauding this they say this is going to relieve some of the tariffs right. that have put pressure on Iowa farmers so some of the prices on cars may go up but there might be more opportunities for workers here it's also blowing up global supply chains which or anti-American. No trade deal has passed in decades without a preponderance of Republican votes and Democratic leaders have fought everyone. They and have. That's the worry. That First time true. we used preponderance in the show in a long time. But our friend... Not since last night. Last night. <laughs> that's true. Well, our good friend Rush Limbaugh uh, pointed out yesterday that the New Deal is actually just another promise kept by President Trump. The stock market hit a brand new record high today of 26,000. NASDAQ hit 8,000 for the first time ever on the news that we have a renegotiated NAFTA trade deal with MAKO. Tell me, did any Democrats have anything to do with this? They didn't. This is a Donald Trump production. Mexico, Mexico, supposedly Mexico hates Trump. Supposedly, this was not possible. It's just another in a long line of campaign assurances and promises that have been kept. Well, there you go. Ultimately, we don't know what the new NAFTA will look like, but ultimately, I said that twice in uh, one long sentence, uh, the <laughs> President of the United States made this something he ran on. He said, I'm going to work for the little guy. I'm going to work for people to try to figure out better trade policies for the United States. It is, he says, a step. And we'll see how Democrats respond. I mean, Chuck Schumer has accused the president of being all talk, no action on yeah. trade. Nancy Pelosi has done the same thing, even though they both called for changes to NAFTA. So we'll see what the details mm -hmm. are with um, Larry Kudlow going, coming up uh, in the 830. Right. Uh, Katie's promoing and bragging. We'll That's right. Larry Kudlow there, show. there has been a trying to get it all in, guys. Of bragging. <laughs> How about Larry Kudlow? Hey, I got to tell you that Michael Cohen, uh, famed uh, former lawyer of Donald Trump, has made a lot of dumb statements and done a lot of dumb things. But his probably his dumbest thing was hiring Lanny Davis, and that he is somebody who is a, a smart guy. Uh, a, he's a lawyer. I get it. He's a crisis manager. That's true. But Lanny Davis is representing Michael Cohen simply on behalf of Hillary Clinton. You want more proof of it? Look at what he's done over the last few days. Caught lying, lying Lanny, caught lying about what Michael Cohen knew about Russia, hacking, and that famed Trump Tower meeting. Well, in particular, let's talk about that uh, Trump Tower uh, meeting. Mr. Davis made it clear that his client, Michael Cohen, was willing to talk to the Mueller team because he had information that Donald Trump personally knew about that meeting before it happened. Well, now, 
Uh, Lanny's walking that back because he didn't, didn't have a little egg on his face. It's a whole omelet. He talked to <laughs> BuzzFeed last night, and here is the headline. Lanny Davis says he was a source for CNN's Trump Tower story. And the Washington Post story. He told, a name source. Yeah, he told BuzzFeed he was one of the anonymous sources for the CNN report to that effect. Um, and here's the thing. Now that he's backing off, he admits that he lied last week when he denied being a source. Do you realize how explosive a story this is, Steve? If the President of the United States knew about the Trump Tower meeting, and Katie, and Michael, uh, but I'm just uh, building off the preponderance of evidence that you mm -hmm. laid out. Yes, uh, the preponderance. But he puts this out there and saying that I talked to Michael Cohen, he knows you're not going to believe it. He wants to talk to Robert Mueller. First off, you represent Michael Cohen. Why is it a Michael Cohen's advantage to go and talk to Robert Mueller? You already cut your deal with the Southern District of New York. Why are you offering him out there to hurt Donald because Trump? Because it's not a very good deal. Actually. That and this is, you know, the you have to look at the sourcing from a reporter's perspective. I mean, there have been so many false stories based mm -hmm. on these anonymous sources who have not been revealed. We know in this case it was Lanny Davis, who is a political operative. So it brings into the in, into question not just the reporting on it, but what Michael Cohen's uh, and right. uh, what his motives are, what Lanny Davis's motive was in getting involved in the first place. And quite frankly, if he's walking back this one bombshell that they thought they had for the Mueller team. Right. Do they really have anything else? Well, think about last week. Last week, it was all about Michael Cohen is flipped. He's, he's uh, cut a deal right. with the Southern District uh, U.S. Attorney's Office. That was gigantic. But then he got bigger because Lanny said, look, he's got stuff. He can tell him if he wants to talk to him. And then, just kidding, doesn't really have yeah. any Oops. stuff to tell him because I, I lied was. about it. Well, too bad. Do, we had to find out the real story because you don't just get that wrong. Uh, that's the real story. You but, made it up. But what do you? But why would you make it up because knowing he's a the political ramifications operative. from what he says? Because Lanny Davis is a political operative. That is his yeah. goal. He is avenging Hillary Clinton's loss. That is what this but, is about. But then again, maybe he wanted some sort of a deal from the Mueller team. Look, my guy doesn't have much of a deal with the U.S. attorney from the Southern District. So if Mueller wants to give us a deal, we're willing to talk. Of course, it has since exploded, and Mr. Davis is embarrassed. You know who's else willing to talk? Is Jillian Mealy. She's paid to talk. There she is. If you'll let me. Is it my turn now? Yes, go All ahead. All right, let's go ahead with some of your headlines. And we're learning more about the gunman who opened fire at that video video game tournament in Florida, killing two people before turning the gun on himself. David Katz was hospitalized twice for psychiatric treatment. Divorce papers from his parents revealing he was prescribed antipsychotic and antidepressant medication as early as 12 years old. His parents apparently disagree with how to treat his conditions. Senator John McCain's final words to the American public revealed in a heartfelt letter read by his longtime aide. I lived and died a proud American. We are citizens of the world's <clears throat> greatest republic. Americans never quit, we never surrender, we never hide from history, we make history. Farewell fellow Americans, God bless you and God bless America. McCain also taking a thinly veiled shot at the president, referencing hiding behind walls and our current difficulties. The president ordering the White House flag back down to half staff, releasing a statement saying in part, quote, I respect John Senator, Senator John McCain's service to our country and in his honor have signed a proclamation to fly the flag of the United States at half staff until the day of his interment. McCain's Senate desk draped in black and topped with white roses. Also in the news, key primaries today on the march to the midterms in Florida. We will get to Florida, I guess, in just a second. That's yep. right. Because they said no more headlines, yeah. so we will talk they about got, Florida later. That's Next. Right. they got primaries <laughs> in Florida. Brian's going to talk to Ron DeSantis in the next segment, and also a big one out in Arizona. Primary yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, We're we'll preview it, it all. Thanks, Jillian. 13 minutes after the hour. In just a few hours, Bruce Orr will be grilled behind closed doors about the anti-Trump dossier. Congressman Ron DeSantis has a lot of questions for him. And not to mention, it's a big day for him in Florida. He wants to get the nomination and represent the Republicans in the race to be the next governor. With Advil liquid gels, you'll ask, what bad shoulder? What headache? Advil is relief that's fast, strength that lasts. You'll ask, what pain? With Advil liquid gels.
Minimums and fees, they seem to be the very foundation of your typical bank. Capital One is anything but typical. That's why we designed Capital One Cafes. You can get savings and checking accounts with no fees or minimums, and one of America's best savings rates. To top it off, you can open one from anywhere in five minutes. This isn't a typical bank. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Are you ready, old man? Ha! Ah, I've been out working you all day. See your authorized Mahindra dealer to test drive the Retriever 1000. This is not a bed. It's a revolution in sleep. The new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed is on sale now from $899 during Sleep Number's biggest sale of the year. It senses your movement and automatically adjusts to keep you both comfortable. It even helps with this. So you wake up ready to put your pedal to the metal. And now all beds are on sale. Save 50% on the new Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus 24-month financing on all beds, only for a limited time. Sleep Number, proven quality sleep. For those who gaze up at starry skies and ponder the vastness before them, asking why, where, and how, this is documentaries from the best filmmakers anywhere in the world. Long live the curious. Monthly subscriptions start at just $2.99 a month. Start your free Health Plus Ancestry Kit today at 23andMe.com. This isn't a liner. Well, to be clear, it's an invisible liner from Smile Direct Club. Our liners take teeth like these and transform them into those. They discreetly take this and turn it into that. We send your liners directly to you. And in an average of six months, you could have a lifetime supply of confidence. Join more than 250,000 satisfied grinners who got a smile they love for only 80 bucks a month at SmileDirectClub.com. Today on Capitol Hill, Bruce Orr heading to the hot seat behind closed doors. The DOJ official set to face the House Oversight Committee to testify about his ties to the anti-Trump dossier, which are indisputable. So what can we expect? Let's ask House Oversight Committee member Congressman Ron DeSantis, who in a matter of moments will tell us how nervous he is and how optimistic he may be about uh, his nomination to be represent the Republican Party in the gubernatorial race in Florida. First things first, Congressman, uh, as you are right now, what are you anxious? I know you're not going to be there today because you have uh, uh, behind closed doors. What are you anxious to hear from Bruce Orr? Well, I want to know his precise role. I mean, we know just from the documents that we have that he was functioning almost as an intermediary between the Clinton campaign and Fusion GPS and the Obama Justice Department. He was one of the highest ranking officials in Obama's Justice Department, reporting directly to the anti-Trump Deputy Attorney General Sally Yates. So it's really an unprecedented use of official prosecutorial resources to have him that deeply involved in generating this opposition research. We need to know who else at the FBI knew what he was doing. We need to know when he started dealing with people like Glenn Simpson at Fusion GPS, what his interactions were with Christopher Steele, and the financial right. interest that he had in stake, because his wife, Nellie Orr, worked for Fusion GPS, and you're not allowed to be a federal official and participate in matters that you have a financial interest. So I think there's a whole host of questions, but he really is a critical kind of wheel in this whole collusion cog that we've been able to expose over the last few months. But Ron, he has no business even being in this. He usually does narcotics cases, yet we have 60 uh, known contacts with Christopher Steele a guy working as a private contractor for his wife's company. Here's an example of some of the texts that we'd like to have him explain. Uh, here's one, Christopher Steele to Bruce Orr. Hi, just wondering if you had any news. Obviously, we're a bit apprehensive given the scheduled appearance at Congress on Monday, hoping that important firewalls will hold. What does that mean? That's the voice in my head. Bruce Orr, sorry, no new news. I believe my earlier information is accurate. I will let you know immediately if there is any change. After uh, Comey was fired, they contact him after Sally Yates was fired. They contact him. This guy's got a lot of answers. I sense he's not going to give any. 
but we'll uh, hopefully hear from I know Jim Jordan's going to be on our channel later. Today is primary day in Florida. When I talked to you a couple of months ago, you were 20 points behind. Most polls have you two points ahead. What is your sense going into Election Day? Oh, I think we're poised to have a strong victory. I mean, I think all the credible polls that actually poll likely Republican primary voters show us with a really, really strong lead. And it's really been that way, Brian, for the last two months. I mean, coming out of the Fox debate at the end of June, you know, every single poll we've taken on our campaign has had me up and up strong. Um, and I think you're going to see a strong victory, but a victory that shows strength in all corners of Florida. We have right. a big, diverse state, and you got to be able to compete in Miami. you got to be able to compete in Pensacola. And I think I've demonstrated that, and I think the results uh, tonight will reflect that. Formidable phone, Adam Putnam. You guys have debated. You want to add it. And uh, may the best men win. We'll find out today. Thanks so much, Congressman. Thank you. All right. I mean, while the president's endorsement has meant everything. Meanwhile, straight ahead, you've heard the left say abolish ICE over and over, but a new poll reveals that's not what Democrats really want. So what's up? Jessica Tarlov, Kaylee McEnany. Debate that next. Steve will sit down in the chair and roll a little bit. Now he's settled. Now he's used his chair and then he to the boat winner. For those who are driven by purpose, who are building investing, advice, banking, retirement. TIAA. Start today at TIAA.org. Sometimes the pressures of today's world can make it tough to take care of yourself. But Nature's Bounty has innovative ways to help you maintain balance and help keep you active and well-rested. Because, hey, tomorrow's coming up fast. Nature's Bounty. Because you're better off healthy. Are you taking the tissue test? Yep. And my teeth are yellow. Time for white strips. Crest Glamorous White White Strips are the only ADA-accepted whitening strips proven to be safe and effective. And they whiten 25 times better than a leading whitening toothpaste. Crest. Healthy, beautiful smiles for life. So you have your headphones, chair, and your laptop, 24-7 tech support. Yep. Thanks, guys. I think he might need some support. Yes. Start them off right with the school supplies they need at low prices all summer long. Now save $150 on this Dell notebook at Office Depot Office Max. Not getting enough cash back with that credit card? Turn to the nerds. Looking for the perfect mortgage? Turn to the nerds. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Easily compare credit cards, mortgages, savings accounts, and more at nerdwallet.com. There's an exotic place where you can swim in the sky. Where all the pleasures of a five-star luxury vacation are all included. <laughs> sandals Grenada. Experience the sandals of tomorrow today. Call 1 800 Sandals. Bruce Orr's closed door testimony. Inside the question over Trump targeting and what they could reveal. Jim Jordan breaks down the case with Shannon tonight on Fox News at Night. Looking back, you've seen some amazing things. And looking forward, there's so much more to come. That's why VSP offers individual vision plans, coverage you can buy on your own. Because retirement shouldn't be the end of vision care, but a new beginning. VSP gives you affordable access to trusted eye doctors in your area and gives you the lowest out-of-pocket costs on necessities that traditional Medicare doesn't cover, like glasses, contacts, and specialty prescription lenses. This makes regular eye exams more affordable, trusted eye doctors more accessible, and ensures that prescriptions, like progressives, are done right the first time. For lifelong access to eyewear and eye care, put your trust in the same quality coverage employers offer and learn more at vspdirect.com or call 888-8-BY-VSP to see better for life for less. Thank you, VSP. Quick headlines now. Untraceable 3D gun blueprints will stay offline for now. A federal judge in Seattle issuing a temporary restraining order against the controversial weapon until the case is resolved. 19 states in Washington, D.C. are suing the State Department after settling with the man who wants to publish them. And just weeks before the midterms, a federal court is ordering North Carolina to throw out its congressional map. A panel of judges ruling the current version unconstitutional because it gerrymandered to help Republicans. State Republicans expected to appeal the ruling. This will have a major effect uh, on Election Day in November. Steve. 
Thank you, Brian. Democrats not giving up their attacks against the president's border policies, doubling down on their calls by some to get rid of ICE. It has become a deportation force. Get rid of it, start over, reimagine it, and build something that actually works. What it's turned into is, is frankly, a terrorist uh, organization. We can replace it with a humane agency. Okay, but a brand new poll now showing their voters, Democrats may not feel the same way with barely a quarter of Democrats agreeing to get rid of ICE. So is it time for the Democrats to come up with a new talking point here to debate? We've got RNC spokesperson Kaylee McEnany, screen left, that's weird, <laughs> and Fox sure News contributor <laughs> Jessica Tarlov on the right. It happens. It does happen. Just for does. seating. Yeah. All right, so Kaylee, uh, this is such a, a an easy thing for people to take a look at because for the most part, Republicans have supported ICE, and you see all these sound bites where it sounds like the Democrats are trying to tear it down. So which is it? Well, the Democratic voters clearly do not support abolishing ICE, according to that poll, but the Democratic leaders do. And you look, you know, these are mainstream Democrats. This is Kirsten Gillibrand. Uh, this is Kamala Harris. This is Elizabeth Warren. Are you these saying they're out of step with the rank-and-file Democrats? Entirely out of step. And, and you look also, there was a House vote for support of ICE. 90% right. of House Democrats would not vote in support of ICE. So 90% of House Democrats are out of out of step with their voters. Uh huh. Actually, uh, you've been on this program and you, Jessica, have said Democrats do not want to get rid of ICE. Yep. Some Democrats do, and these are Democrats who are on TV a lot. It is a vocal minority, is what I'm going to say about it. And we've talked about this a number of times. It is very convenient, obviously, for the right to say, as Donald Trump does at his rallies, if you elect Democrats, you're going to have right. open borders, you're going to have abolishing ICE, and also the economy is going to tank because no one can make you rich but me. I was being Trump mm -hmm. at that moment. Um, You'll be there, poor. <laughs> yes, you will be so poor. Uh, there are certainly a number of mainstream Dems that are doing it, like Kirsten Gillibrand, though she is talking about reimagining ice. She's not saying, let's get rid of this and well, not have that something. Is, that well, is Cynthia, walking back her earlier comments. Totally. Cynthia Nixon, though, when you use that as an Terrorist example. Terrorist organization, well, please. But Cynthia Nixon is what trailing Cuomo by 35 points and is running a real leftist fringe campaign at this point. I think that poll is great news for right. Democrats because at least we can use that for messaging and focus on the issues that Republicans want to as well. Economy, health care, national security. But Kaylee, you know that in toward, uh, as we get closer to the uh, November elections, the Democrats are going to keep bringing up that, you know, it was Donald Trump who tore those families apart at our southern border. Right. Democrats will keep bringing that up to no avail because the, the American people want border security. We've seen that in the Harvard-Harris poll. Every time it's, it's done, 61 percent say current border security is inadequate. We just saw the tragic death of Molly Tibbetts. So Democrats want to abolish ICE. Meanwhile, illegal immigrants are running rampant in this country, some of whom are committing crimes. Right. And the problem, you might not disagree with this with your own party, is that you have a small contingency of the left, the radical left, that is tending to run the party. You know, 43 percent of the vote is what Bernie Sanders got. 13 million Democratic voters. They are controlling this party and making them out of step with the American people. Well, because Alexandria and Bernie are getting so many headlines and people try to outdo them to get some cable TV time. Exactly. Well, at least to make sure that they don't show up and campaign against them. But as we saw in the primaries that have already gone on, we'll see more today. Yeah. The more moderate Democrats are the ones winning these primaries, as they should be in states like Michigan right. and in Kansas. Right. Uh, Jessica, uh, Kaylee just mentioned border security. Republicans are for that. What is the official Democrat viewpoint on border security. Well, Obviously, well, you don't want the wall. We are but what do you not want? fans of the wall. We, we do want border security. I, I always what go does back that to mean? the gang. What does that mean? I think that it does mean an increased presence on the border. It means humane treatment of those who are here. It does mean not separating families. If you look at the Fox News poll, you see that the president, who has made national security and border security the forefront of his campaign, is actually doesn't have a high approval on it. 51% actually disapprove of the way that he's handling it. The only area that he is not underwater is the economy. So I think right. Democrats can seize upon that. That number is far higher, though. A lot of Americans support the president. It doesn't show up in polls. We saw it in Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania states. No one had won since the 80s. President Trump won because the hidden Trump voter wouldn't talk to a pollster, but nevertheless supported I, him. Listen, it, we could have a repeat of that. All we can go on right now and are the numbers. Has, and he has a higher approval rating than President Obama, I would also yeah, note. Yeah, Rasmussen, this time we've president. also had no, full... No, no, no. That's not just Rasmussen. Well, He's one percentage point higher than Obama was the 46 was this time. versus the 45. Okay, yeah, so it, there's, a, there's a lot of poll data here. Uh, ultimately, <laughs> Jessica is here to say, hey, Democrats, stop saying, let's get rid of ICE, because that's a loser. Thank you for translating. You bet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Great chat this Thanks early. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Nobody needs coffee. We're wide awake now. <laughs> All right. Uh, 6.30 here in New York City.
How will the Roseanne Barr spinoff explain the absence of Roseanne? Well, we think we got an idea. Stick around. Plus, you know Katie Pavlich loves politics, but did you know she really wanted to be a country singer like her idol, Reba McIntyre? We're going to get to know Katie coming up next on Fox and Friends. There's no limit to what you can achieve. And now there's no limit to how. Introducing Purdue University Global. A public online university for working adults. When did you see the sign? When I needed to create a better visitor experience. Improve our workflow. Attract new customers. That's when Fast Signs recommended fleet graphics. Yeah, now business is rolling in. Get started at FastSigns.com. With uncontrolled moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis, you never know how your skin will look. And it can feel like no matter what you do, you're itching all the time. But even though you see and feel your eczema on the surface of your skin, an overly sensitive immune system deep within your skin might actually be causing your eczema. So help heal your skin from within with Dupixent. Dupixent is not a steroid, and it continuously treats your eczema even when you can't see it. At 16 weeks, more than one in three patients saw clear or almost clear skin, and patients saw a significant reduction in itch. Do not use if you are allergic to Dupixent. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you have new or worsening eye problems, including eye pain or changes in vision. If you have asthma and are taking asthma medicines, do not change or stop your asthma medicine without talking to your doctor. Help heal your skin from within. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixent. There's a reason criminals are on the dark web looking for your email, phone, and social security number. With them, they can access your personal information and steal your identity. Fight back with Experian. It's easy. Go to Experian.com protect for a free dark web triple scan. We'll tell you if your social security number, phone, and email have been compromised. So you can act before a criminal can. Get your free dark web triple scan today at Experian.com slash protect. Shaq, ring alarm is so simple and easy to use, I had my son Oliver install one. Well, Oliver, can you come install one in my house? Sure, easy. You stick up the sensor, download the app, and boom, now you have home security. And the best part is it's only 10 bucks a month, which you can afford with your allowance. So if you can do it, I can do it. But I'll just let you do it. Ring Alarm, the easy to install, professionally monitored alarm, all for just 10 bucks a month. I'm not there. Learn more at ring.com. The closer you get to home, the more you know the commute is worth it. You and that John Deere tractor. You can keep dreaming up projects all the way home. It's a longer drive, but just like a John Deere, it's worth it. Looking for great deals on travel? Just use Priceline. You can save up to 60% on hotels. That's like 120 bucks a night back in your pocket. Go to Priceline to get deals you won't find anywhere else. That's a loop. Oh my oh. gosh. If you've got a dog, you've seen that before. It is our shot of the morning. A dog is completely shocked when his best friend suddenly reappears after being gone for nine months of military training. Uh, Zafir running over to private first class Kevin Lord in California after he, came, after he came home from Fort Bragg. That blanket drop is known as the What the Fluff Challenge, which has gone viral on social media. Yeah, I, I tried to do that with my dog. They would not cooperate. They're too, They're too smart for you. Right? They're the size of mountains. And yeah, they wouldn't really buy into it. I tried to show them on my uh, iPhone, and they couldn't buy into it. You tried to give them a tutorial about how this is supposed to work. Yeah, I tried, you know, tried to show them what other dogs are doing. But you're not you're supposed to show them because they know you're going to leave after you drop the, the sheets. So well, I you made a mistake. Hold on. You're showing your dogs 
YouTube videos yeah. on how to do dog because stuff? Because they were not cooperating. We should show them pictures of, and videos of my dog, Gadsden, who has not done the What the Fluff Challenge yet, but I am going to do it. But he's a very smart dog. He likes watching airplanes sometimes. We'll go over to Ronald Reagan National Airport in Washington, D.C. At the end of the runway. He also loves to match me. You see my American flag cowboy yes. boots, and he has an American flag bandana. We oftentimes <laughs> coordinate our outfits, his decision. He also loves Chick-fil-A because it's the best fast food chain in America. He always is very patriotic, just like Chick-fil-A when he goes to eat there, and he loves their refreshing drinks in the hot your, summer Your sun. dog, Gatson, has rubbed off uh, a little bit of the uh, dark end of his nose. His Our nose is all did. pink. Yeah. He has an all pink nose. I call he's this... He's a digger. He's a, well, he's not really a digger. He's mostly a condo dog. I wish he was more <laughs> of a digger. He's a little bit of a diva, high maintenance. This picture of him, I like to say, is his emoji uh, face, you know, the heart emojis with the eyes oh. on your phone. This is what it looks like. But Gadsden is pretty awesome. And uh, if you ever want to meet him, maybe you'll right. see us sometime you know, so walking around like the to, National Mall. Brian would like to show him some YouTube videos. On how to do <laughs> I would like stuff. to do that. He yes. will not pay attention. You know, he right. hates the camera. So whenever I have to get those pictures that I took, took probably 50 pictures just to get right. one of them. Whenever Dog. I do this, he turns away like he's just too good for so, it. So, Katie, let's get to know you a little bit. Uh, first off, where'd you grow up? Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm a, an Arizona native, many generations, so I'm proud you, to be from Arizona. I live on the East Coast now. Katie and I were just talking. Uh, she, I grew up on a gravel road in Kansas. You grew up on a dirt, dirt road. road. At the Big end difference. of a two-mile dirt road on five acres of land. There I am in very northern Arizona near the Vermilion Cliffs, which is near Lake Powell and Who's the truck? Colorado River. Uh, a good friend of ours. It's, it's her truck. And Are you so, stuck? I was not stuck. Oh. No, not sure that truck drives anymore. Here I am in high school playing basketball. I was number 21. I played forward and guard. Uh, my high school career ended when we lost the state championship after beating, losing to a team we'd beat three times. Here I am playing volleyball. We also went to the state championship for volleyball and lost. So don't know how that happened. <laughs> Still not bitter about going to the state championship yeah. twice and losing both. But you hey, there video? you go. you have any video? Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I watched that. I watched it mm -hmm. once, and I just didn't need to relive the memories of losing both of those championships. Well, you've been a traveler as well. You've been all over the world. Yeah, I love traveling. You know, I think travel is a great uh, education. And so I've been all over the world, all over travel the country. Travel to the volleyball court. Yeah, I travel to right the there. volleyball court, as you can see. Uh, right. Go Mustangs. Number 10 is my favorite number. My birthday is also on July 10th. And so I've been to 42 of 50 states. Still got to get to some of the ones in the middle of the state. Wait, North you've Dakota, never been South to Kansas, Kansas, my home Haven't state? been to Kansas. I'm so Holy sorry. God. Montana. Like, you've been to all those states? I've been yeah. to all of those states. Alaska, Hawaii. I've been very blessed to be able to travel. As you can see, my face is in every <laughs> single one of those states. So that's, that's right. where you, you can find me. When you cross it's into the state, when you cross over into Oklahoma, there you see a great big Katie Pavlich face. Right, all those signs that say "Welcome to Oklahoma," "Welcome to Arizona," "Welcome to Colorado." My face is on every single one of those signs at every border that you see. Wait, so. Sir, it's so interesting. I have never noticed that until today. Uh, <laughs> Katie, you also went to Israel, China, Thailand, and Holland. Mm. Some people call Holland the Netherlands. They do call them the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. I got to eat a lot of cheese right. in the uh, Netherlands. Uh, China was very interesting. Was glad to come home. There I am in Thailand Glad after washing. <laughs> yeah, there I am in Thailand washing Hi, an elephant that we walked down to the river. Here I am at the Western Wall in uh, Jerusalem, which is an amazing, special, spiritual place. I highly suggest everybody go, even if you're religious, not yep. religious, definitely go and see it. Um, but no baby elephants in Israel, but there are camels that you can pay to ride there, which is a fun experience. So you no gotta horses? be careful, they're very tall. I did not see any horses, so no horses. But over there, Uber actually uh, owns the camels. Oh yes, <laughs> Uber camel a... is definitely uh, the thing. So oh, here's, here's this video. video. Okay, so here's a video of me getting kissed on the cheek by the elephant. It was very and that's sloppy in and wet in Thailand. Was, was the elephant time. told to kiss you? Uh, he, yeah, he was trained. He was to do trained it. To kiss yeah, him. it was. It was. You know, for it tips. was consensual. <laughs> it was fine. It's <laughs> one of those things, though, where they they're trying to get a good picture. Right. Right. But there were so many pictures. They're actually really amazing animals. And one of the babies, they have such a personality. We were walking down this trail to the river to wash her. Right. And she kept bumping us off the trail. When it's a 400-pound right. little baby, it's no joke. And then after we washed her, she rolled right. around in the dirt because she had no interest in Well, I understand. In Katie, bath. you also are an adventurer, I understand. I love adventure. You gotta get. You gotta live life. You know, you only live once. Yolo, right. as they say. I went skydiving for my 30th birthday. Uh, some of my best friends and my husband loved me enough that they came with me and, and risked 
jumping out of a plane, which was awesome. Who, who are you tethered to right there? Uh, someone who works a at us. Uh, yeah, a professional, thank goodness. Right. He told me that I could pull my own shoot if I wanted to, and I just kind of forgot. No. So luckily, <laughs> he was there to do it for me. Did you um, have to pack your own shoot? I didn't. No, no, no. Yeah, I no, I left everything to the professionals. Here I am in uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and Grand Teton National love Park. That. All right, love our national park Elk system. Refuge? We did, it's yes. Beautiful. Didn't see any elk. Here I am shooting um, elk. a... <laughs> not shooting elk in this uh, photo, but here I am at Gunsight Academy in Arizona. Here I am again uh, uh, getting onto the plane. Do you That's really have husband's. time to be hosting the show today? <laughs> Is there anything she hasn't done? I've done a few things. It's pretty fun. Like I said, you got to pack it all, all right. in. you got to use every moment of your life to... Uh, Enjoy it. Jill and I were just looking at each other. Life is short. We can't believe how our life sucks. My life uh, is so boring terrible. compared to yours. I'm like, I'm not even happy for you anymore. No, I'm angry. No, you no. come with me next time. Now, is, all that, is all that in your Wikipedia page? Uh, I'm not sure. Can somebody it's please adjust Instagram, that? Uh, it's on my Instagram. It's on my Instagram page. You can check it out there. Wow. All right. All right. It gets, you know, usually people get excited during the morning show. This is like a come down for you. Uh, yeah. That's no, like, this is great. Right. This no, is I'll kiss you in the end. And, and we also know that you win that quiz a lot on Tucker. And in the next hour, we. We might actually have a surprise for Oh, them. no. I better prepare. I'm going to study during the break. There's well, no now preparing for this. I feel terrible about myself. So <laughs> should we uh, go ahead and do the news? <laughs> we'll get some rest. <laughs> I know. Wait, we have this crazy story, though. I want to show you guys this surveillance video, which is just really honestly going to give you chills. A panicked woman caught on camera ringing doorbells in the middle of the night, wearing nothing but a T-shirt with, take a close look, what appears to be broken shackles, perhaps, on her wrists. Police in Montgomery County, Texas, now searching for that mystery woman, reviewing this surveillance footage from one of the homes. This all happened around 3.30 in the morning. The woman doesn't match any missing, missing persons reports, but still, that is that is insane. All right, someone on Twitter wished for the murder of NRA spokeswoman Dana Lash's children, but the social media giant at first didn't see a problem with it. Twitter now banning the user for the vicious comments after backlash. In an email to Dana Lash's husband, the company says, quote, we have re-reviewed the account you reported and have locked it because we found it to be in violation of the Twitter rules. Dana Lash will join Fox and Friends to discuss the reverse ruling at 8.45 a.m. Eastern, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So how will the upcoming Roseanne spinoff explain the lead character's absence? She's dead. At least that's what co-star John Goodman is hinting at, describing his character to the Sunday Times, saying, quote, It's an unknown. I guess he'll be mopey and sad because his wife's dead. The show was canceled after Roseanne posted a racially insensitive tweet. ABC has since announced a spinoff called The Connors. Well, think you've had bad dates. We've all had them, right? But you probably haven't met this guy. He's being called the Dine and Dash Daner. Paul Gonzalez is facing more than a decade in jail and 10 felony counts for his ungentlemanly actions. He's accused of ditching several women across Southern California before the check came during their dates. The 45-year-old's crime spree came to an end when he was busted trying to skip out on a $130 shrimp and filet mignon dinner. So, ladies. He's facing 10 felony out. counts on dining and dashing? Yeah, I mean, that's serious stuff. Loser. <laughs> what is All he right. doing? Thank really? you very much. Yep. All right. Uh, meanwhile, let's turn to the weather. It may still be summer according to the calendar, but it's looking a lot like winter out west. Oh, no. Montana just got its first snow of the season. It's still what? August, all thanks to an unusually cold storm system. Senior meteor meteorologist Janice Dean is tracking the forecast. Over to you, Janice. Oh, it's coming. The snow is coming. No, and I don't all like the it. No, 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 no. All the anchors that have complained about the heat, we're going to, you know, compile them, put them all together. When we get our first snowfall here in New York City, we're <laughs> going to play all of you complaining about the heat. Welcome, Katie Pavlich. You're awesome. Thank you, Janice. Let's, Back at you. Let's take a look at the uh, temperatures because it is hot outside. It feels, well, it's 80, right? And it feels even worse than that. The humidity is crazy. My hair is going to start to frizz up throughout the next three hours. The relief will be coming for some across the Great Lakes. 88 by Thursday. DC, though, stays hot and sticky. All right, back inside where it's air conditioned. I thought right. you said the uh, snow was coming. It right. is. Yeah, look out for the rain. Winter will be here. All yeah. right. right. All right, go to shelter. All right, uh, 17 minutes before the top of the hour. All eyes on Arizona and Florida for today's key primaries. What are the races to watch and which contest is flying under the radar? That story next. Mother Nature. Nothing smells greater than the great outdoors. Especially when you're in accounts receivable.
Only one detergent can give you a sniff like this. Try Game Botanicals Laundry Detergent, one of the many irresistible scents from Game. A hotel can make or break a trip. And at Expedia, we don't think you should be rushed into booking one. That's why we created Expedia's Add-on Advantage. Now after booking your flight, you unlock discounts on select hotels, right until the day you leave. Add-on Advantage. Discounted hotel rates when you add on to your trip. Only when you book with Expedia. The first person to survive Alzheimer's disease is out there. And the Alzheimer's Association is going to make it happen by funding scientific breakthroughs, advancing public policy, and providing local support to those living with the disease and their caregivers. But we won't get there without you. Join the fight with the Alzheimer's Association. See a little blood when you brush or floss? You may have gum disease and could be on a journey to much worse. Try Periodontex Toothpaste. It's three times more effective at removing plaque, the main cause of bleeding gums. Leave bleeding gums behind with Periodontex Toothpaste. It's Golden Corral's Wings and Rib Fest. Hurry in for fall apart baby back ribs and wings just like you like them. All you can eat every night. Start the car. Golden Corral. Your choice rules. At Farmers, we've seen almost everything, so we know how to cover almost anything, even vengeful vermin. Not so cute when they're angry. And we covered it. Talk to farmers. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Tired of lugging around big bags of pet food and litter? Get it delivered. Chewy.com delivers everything your pets need right to your door. They ship all your favorite brands of dog food, cat food, litter, toys, and treats. All at amazing prices. Start saving today. Plus, you get fast, free shipping. With Chewy.com, you don't have to break a sweat or the bank. Save 20% on your first order and get fast free shipping. Shop online at Chewy.com. Major primaries happening across the country today. It's kind of exciting. All eyes on the Senate races in both Arizona and Florida. So what can we expect here to break it down as a guy studying it for us? He's a former Trump campaign pollster, Jim McLaughlin. Jim, good to see you. Great to see you. All right, let's start in uh, Arizona uh, because we want to see what's happening in the uh, the Senate race there, because we know the seat is wide open because Jeff Flakes knew he, knew, yep. knew he couldn't win. Big enemy of the president. So you got Martha McSally, Kelly Ward, and Joe Arpaio. Yep. And you still see the president's impact in that race. Because the interesting part is that's why Jeff Flake couldn't run for re-election, because he had you know, gone against the president. On every, on every turn. He was very unpopular among Republican primary voters there. And you see both Kelly Ward and Joe Arpaio trying to tie themselves back to the president. But even with all that, looks like Martha McSally's the front runner. The last media poll had him up by about, had her up by about 20 points. Yeah, there was no presidential endorsement on that, even though the president was getting pressured to go with McSally. Mm -hmm. She's a veteran, too. Let's talk about uh, Florida. And we just talked to Ron DeSantis a short time ago. He's come from as a Congressman, military veteran, against the veteran Adam Putnam, who's been training his whole life for this. Putnam blew a 20-point lead. It's amazing. Just a couple months ago, Putnam had all the money, all the endorsements. He was the clear establishment f favorite in Florida. And then all of a sudden, Ron DeSantis got the Trump endorsement, the Republican primary good housekeeping seal of approval. He's gone from being down 20 to now there's some folks that say he can win by 20. Right. He just shows the president's power in Florida. He uh, won that, of course, by just a point over Hillary Clinton. Uh, now let's talk about something where I think the most intriguing race uh, mm -hmm. outside what's happening in New Jersey, and that is uh, Rick Scott, Bill Nelson, expect to lock up their nominations and go head to head. This is a flat footed tie. Nelson's yep. got had that job for decades. Yep. Not too long ago, the Democrats thought Bill Nelson's going to have another cakewalk.
But in the meantime, the Republicans are really excited about Rick Scott, who's been a pretty popular governor, and he's gotten more popular as time's gone on because he's done a really good job and has a great record of success that he can talk to the voters about. Tapping into the Hispanic community. No How doubt. does a rich white guy tap into the Hispanic community? He cares, and he went there. He's gone to P Puerto Rico, I think, at least six times to campaign there. He's learned how to speak Spanish. He's always down in South Florida and Miami, and he's campaigning vigorously, and he's out there seeing the people. And Bill Nelson yeah. is getting a lot of flack from even Democrats for not campaigning hard enough. He's rusty. He doesn't have real opponents, and he hasn't been out there in a while. It's going to cost him. Now let's look at the 27th District uh, over in, uh, let's keep it over in Florida. On the GOP side, a big roster of contenders. You got Maria Elvira uh, Salazar, Gina Sosa Suarez, but, uh, Bettina Rodriguez Aguilera. Who, the, who do you think is going to emerge as we turn the page again? I think it's interesting because this is the seat from Ileana Ross Layton, where she's retiring. You look at Marivira Salazar. Is the Republicans again are really excited about her candidacy? She's a former TV personality, and she's from the district. She grew up in the district. She's got a great story as a single mom. And the Democrats again thought they were counting on this seat being in the Flipping. bank as part of the blue wave, but they're probably going to nominate Donna Shalala, who's not even from the district. The district's more than 70 okay. percent Hispanic, and she doesn't speak Spanish. University of Miami, as well as uh, Hillary, a uh, uh, big Clinton supporter. Thanks so much, Jim McLaughlin. Great job. All right, coming up straight ahead, President Trump honoring evangelical leaders during a special dinner at the White House. In recent years, the government tried to undermine religious freedom, but the attacks on communities of faith are over. When you run from national, it's kind of like playing your own version of best ball. Here you can choose any car in the aisle, even if it's a better car class than the one you reserved. So no matter what, you're guaranteed to have a perfect drive.